Hi, I'm Janice Griffin, Database Performance Evangelist here at SolarWinds. In this video, you will learn how to install SolarWinds Database Performance Analyzer, or DPA for short, on Microsoft Windows Server. You can download a trial of DPA at solarwinds.com slash DPA download, or if you are already a SolarWinds DPA customer, you can visit the customer portal for the latest release. To begin the DPA installation process, extract the files from the zip container file and locate the install program in the SolarWinds directory. To start your installation, right-click on the install program and run as administrator. The install wizard will display several screens showing DPA's architecture and installation guidelines. Click Next until you get to the License Agreement page. Review and accept the license, then click Next again to install the rest of the files. The install wizard will walk you through the rest of the installation. After the software is installed, you will be prompted to configure the database repository in a web browser. You can either click on the Open DPA button or enter your host name and default port of 8123 in your browser. At this point, you should see DPA's repository wizard in your browser. Select the Create New DPA Repository button. Choose which database type you want for the repository. The repository will hold all of the performance data that DPA monitors. For this installation, we will choose SQL Server. Next step is to enter your SQL Server connection information, which includes server and instance name. Or you can enter server name and port if you are running the SQL Server browser service. Enter your sysadmin credentials for the wizard to use to set up your DPA repository database and login. For authentication, if mixed mode is enabled, you can either choose Windows or SQL Server login. The install wizard will guide you through creating your DPA repository administrator account. This account will be used to log in to DPA. Next, choose a name for the database that will hold the repository. Then select the name and location of where you would like the files to reside. For this installation, we will just take the default database name and location. Enter your name and email address so that DPA may send you database performance reports. Finally, confirm that all the information is correct and click Create the Repository. Once we have configured the repository, the next step is to register databases for monitoring. Click on Next to continue viewing the video series.